Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're back in House Flipper in the new Pets DLC and here we're just checking up on our puppy, Rex, who's a pug. His personality type has lazy in it so uh, and stubborn, so maybe not the best animal, but he is very affable, he's very friendly. So, he seems to be doing fine, doesn't have any needs, was happily drinking his water. So let's go take a look at what the next assignment is. Oh, there's uh, a 28 number on the uh, Morgan's Pet Care Centre. Oh, look how cute that is. Australian Shepherd Puppy. Now that is super, super cute. So personality type, helper, rascal and energetic. Oh, so each breed has a set type of um, personality traits. It's not per animal. Oh, that's, that's okay then. Your best buddy is waiting for you at Morgan's Pet Care. Press Take Care and name it. If it's a small animal, choose an enclosure for it. Have a great time together. Oh, so we can adopt any of the animals you've got, and it said 28, so there are, that I assume means there's 28 different types of animal. In the pet panel, you can see the information about your pet and interact with it. You can also decide if you want to take this pet on a job with you. To open the panel, look at the pet and press E. Oh, so look at the bottom, look, take to job, so we can take pets with us. So is that what that helper trait is? Look, the German Shepherd also has the helper trait, the same as the... Uh, Australian one that we looked at, the cute one. So some of them can actually help you, and the, oh, the, the kitten can help as well. You can take cats and dogs and job with you. Check on check the take on job option in the pet panel, and you won't have to work alone anymore. Your pet will get a hat, which will turn off its needs. It's magic. Oh, so when our little pug, when we first found him, he had a little hat on. So that's to do with them being helpers or being on a job, so they don't have needs while you're on the job. Oh, that's a good thing to know. Because that means you can spend as much time as you want on the job without worrying about whether your puppy needs feeding or your kitten. Each cat, dog or bunny has a unique personality. A set of traits affects the pet's behaviour and sometimes grants extra skills. To learn more about a pet, open its pet panel or see the description Morgan's pet care before adoption. So they should all act slightly differently then. Cool. The helper trait means teamwork. Oh look, he's carrying the pot of pain. Oh and digging. The helper trait means teamwork. If your dog has this trait and it's an adult, it will dig holes when needed and even carry the paint for you. Remember to reward it with a treat. Oh bless. So grown-up animals not um, so don't take babies with you. Play with your cats, dogs and bunnies to keep them happy. Open the pet panel and select a game or press E while looking at a toy. If you have more than one pet, all of them would want to play. Remember, cats and dogs play only with the toys dedicated to them. So it is a big dog look playing with that, that pool toy. Which we, we did try to use that with our pug, but our pug was a little puppy, so maybe only the adult dogs can play with that pool thing. And the little ones can do that. And the, is that like a little mobile rat toy for the cats? Oh, that's a kind of cool. Like, it is actually kind of cool. It's a different type of gameplay, though, to what we probably originally bought the game for, but it is nice to have something different. Everyone needs to eat in order to feed a cat, a dog or a bunny. Fill its bowl by pressing E or get an automatic feeder. So the automatic ones are obviously easier because you don't have to remember. To give food to a smaller animal, look at its cage and press E. Okay, so the smaller ones probably don't have automatic feeders. Entire days of hard work or intense relaxation can be tiring, but don't let your pet nap on the floor. There are much more comfortable places. Cat trees, beds or kennels buy one, open the store tab in your tablet and find what you like. And there are, We did uh, look at that and there are quite a w wide range of different beds available. We didn't find the kennels yet though so we'll have to look for that. Dogs love to play. The more they play the dirtier they get. To bathe your dog, pick it up and put it in a tub. Or press call dog while looking at the tub. It will jump in. Now bathe and dry it. Easy right? Remember big dogs won't fit into a small washing tub. Oh, you can dry them with a hair dryer. 
I didn't see a hair dry option while we were at the tub with our little Rex, so we'll have to look at that later. Cats like to do their business in a litter box. Dogs can use a mat but prefer to go outside. None of them can do everything from birth. Puppies and kittens need some patience. Sometimes they'll make a little mess, but they're so cute you'll forgive them. You can place your pets in the pet hotel whenever you need, e.g. while you're buy, uh, buying them a new enclosure or moving your office. Don't worry, Morgan will take care of them until you're ready to pick them up. If you ever feel like you lost your pets, don't panic. Check in Morgan's hotel. Oh, cool. Right, so we can have an Australian Shepherd puppy, a Border Collie puppy. Both of those are super cute. Beagle. Oh, gosh, that's adorable. Australian Shepherd. Oh, look, they're all adorable. Labrador. Oh, that's the quintessential dog, isn't it? That's the one that everybody thinks of when they think dog, I think. So that. All oh, right, so there's, that's. One, two, three, four, five different types of puppies. So 28 animals in total. So five puppies, there was more cats. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bombay. Scottish folds, so that's grey. British. That's grey too. Maine Coon. Oh, that's the big one, isn't it? That's the biggest um, domestic cat. European, that's the tra traditional tabby. The Sphinx. That's kind of a Siamese, isn't it? Okay, so it's, oh, lots and lots of animals and right bunnies. Two bunnies, a white bunny and a um, dappled bunny. Oh, guinea pig looked at yawn. <laughs> Bless it, yawn. It's a light, speckly one. One hamster. Oh, so there's only one, um, one of some of the types. Oh, there are, two, there are two guinea pigs, two hamsters in different colours. There's a light and a dark in the guinea pigs, and a, a light and a grey and a, a light in the um, hamsters. So iguana and a turtle under reptiles. Oh, his feet look so tiny. So under birds, there's just one parrot. Fish. Oh, there's a few look angel fish. Oh, so can we have one, one big tank and put all the fish in? A neon, a different colour of angelfish, Danio, discus, oh that's quite pretty. Yeah, so can we have like a big tank of fish and put all of them in? Egg eating snake. So just one snake, the brown snake, and one spider. It looks kind of like a tarantula, they've just called it spider there. So yeah, so 28 different types of pets that you can have. So if you try to take all of the pets, I think we'll probably will try to get all of the pets into one property later on, but uh, I think that's a lot to try and do all at once, and I don't think that's what people probably would do. You'd pick one or two probably for your house. So we'll continue with the assignments. So the next one is... Um, which one is it? There, I just I missed it, didn't I? It's that one there. The animal caretaker. Oh look, it's Morgan. Running a business and being an accountant has been Morgan's whole life, until he handed the company over to his son and retired. To keep himself busy, he occasionally worked as a freelance consultant for his old friends. Once he was asked to prepare a report on stray pets in Cozy Village, the numbers were frightening. Morgan felt he had to act. He's determined and knows what to do. So he's bought a property in an area where there are a lot of strays so that he can start taking them in and getting them rehomed. That's his retirement pet project. That's an awesome thing to do, isn't it? And he's trying to change a little bit for himself. Was just changing his own home. I know. It's such a nice room, but it's worth it. It's nothing compared to what they went through. What so many straight pets experience every day. I know. I can't save them all. But you can but save some. There's more than none, right? That's a nice idea. The animal caretaker. I think we might enjoy doing this one. 
Oh, uh, he's already got three dog houses out the front and loads of bowls. Look at that. It's a very pretty, like, ranch style building. And how much space have we got? There's quite a bit of space for the pets to run around in. Even the front garden's quite large, so I think we should have enough space. Somebody's made a mess of all the bins and things. We need to straighten that up a little bit. Let's pick up the garbage on the floor first, and then we'll straighten the bins. And then we'll see what actually needs doing. Right, let's pop that up here. No, we turned that too far, kitty. Maybe we'll put it a little bit further across. We'll just pick them all up from there. Has that been moving? That bin's moving. <gasps> Is there another pet in there that we can take? Can we adopt you, whatever you are? What are you? Are you a Whoa, what the... Oh, it's a raccoon. There's a raccoon in the garbage. Oh, it's, oh, it's gone through the fence, look. <laughs> no, I take it that that's not a pet we want to take home with us. Oh, shame. I was kind of hoping there might be a, a pet at every um, property, so we... Oh, right, the bin the raccoon was in is just gone. Okay, let's move this one across a bit. Alright, so I think the best thing to start with in the garden is probably um, mowing. So we've got a nice drive space over here. Double garage. Plenty of storage space though, he's got a double garage. Right on a little country lane, so it's fairly easy access in and out of the house for people who want to adopt. There's uh, another house over there, look, so he's got some neighbours fairly close by as well. Hmm, can't put the mower down on that little narrow section. We'll have to start on a bigger patch of grass and then come back to that. Yes, yeah, so we've got a couple of neighbours over there, look. So he's not completely out in the boonies, he's just got a couple of neighbours. So this is one of those groupings of three houses that we saw on the map, there were two of those. And then more space between the other houses. There's another one over there on the hill, look, so you can see some of the neighbours. There's probably enough distance between these houses for the um, dogs to not bother the neighbours if they bark. Should be fine. Alright then. Let's see how much of this grass we can get cut quite quickly. It's not such long grass this time, but it still takes as long to cut it. Oh, I'm going around in circles a bit crazy. That can sometimes make me feel a little bit queasy, all that circling around. Oh yeah, this is probably not a good idea. That feels not good. Oh yeah. The mowing's got a lot better since they did the improvements to it. It doesn't make me feel as sick, but sometimes it does. Especially if you do too, too tight a turn. So if you see me cutting grass, I mean I do a lot of the grass cutting off camera because sometimes I have to pause halfway through and come back to it later because it makes me feel a bit ick. But um, the improvements did make a huge difference to it. And uh, now if you do see me doing the grass cutting, I quite often go round, right around the edge of the perimeter and keep going in straight lines all the way around rather than going backwards and forwards because it's the change in direction that tends to make me feel a little bit sick. So if you get motion sickness, I recommend you go like right around the perimeter like this because you change direction a lot less and then it is uh, a lot simpler on the motion sickness. So, and just move slowly if you uh, have to do a lot of cornering. I think for an animal shelter it would have been better if you had more space in the back garden and stuff. But uh, it's not a tiny plot of land, but it would have been nice for him to have more. But if he's already owns the house and then he's just repurposing it, then he doesn't have the choice of getting more land, does he? He's just got what he's got. So he'll have to make sure that he keeps only a small number of animals at his house at a time and he finds homes for them quickly before he gets overwhelmed because he hasn't got a lot of space to play with. So it is a small um, pet project for his retirement, not a full animal protection place. 
But like you said, Easter can still save a few. And he's not going to be taking animals from far and wide, he's just going to be taking them from the small community. So, since it's rural, there's hopefully not that many of them to deal with. It's a cool kind of idea, and it's a cool little story for a backstory for our little house, isn't it? Right, so that's the back garden done, so we need to do this side here. We might be able to get it all done in one go without um, feeling too ill. There we go. Lovely. Can't get over how many roads there are in this little place. I do hope that means they're thinking about an expansion to the area and adding like all the houses and farms and things maybe to the map later on to give us more scope with things. That would be very, very cool. And the little butterflies that you can occasionally see hovering around are really cool. Look at that, they're so pretty. Very nice touch to add little things like that. And they've done a really good job of the landscaping and the trees and things outside the perimeter boundaries of the properties. I really like it, it's very, very nice. Jeb didn't actually ask us to um, cut the grass, but I just think it looks nice. That's a bit of a professional finish, isn't it? Come on, Kitty, you can get it. We've got a lot of little tight turns here to finish this section up. Be better to go backwards and forwards, less turning. Right, so we've just got this front little section near where the um, dog kennels and things are. Oops. Oh, that's weird. So it's dismounted me from the uh, mower and put me kind of behind the house. That was interesting. I've never had a, something quite like that happen before. Did I push the mower into a funny position and it uh, couldn't register what was going on? I might have to do the uh, little bit next to the house and the dog kennels with a strimmer then or so. Oh! I, pr I definitely pressed the wrong button there, look. <laughs> that was my problem. I was talking about the strimmer and I brought the strimmer out. There we go. Right. right, how about if we go in this direction? in a straight line. Can we just get that? It's a little bit right where the dog kennels are. We're really good. Can we, um, oh, can we mow where the dog kennels are without moving them? Oh, it looks like we can. Beautiful. That is very helpful, actually. That could have been a little bit, little bit of a problem if we had to move everything to do that. Imagine all the, the, the bowls flying all over everywhere and having to move all the dog kennels. That would have been uh, interesting. <laughs> Nearly done. Nearly done. Can't quite get those little bits there. Yeah, good enough, I think. And then just this last little tiny bit up here on the front. And then we'll probably have a look inside and see what we um, have to work with. It looks like it's a gorgeous house that he's been living in for a while and we're going to have to just redo the sections for the animals and the rest of it where he's living himself probably won't need to be touched will it? Oh look at the dog kennels, they can be, they're really cute aren't they? They look like they're for little dogs though. They're for little dogs, those kennels. Puppies, he's thinking puppies isn't he more than anything else. Right, let's go take a look at Morgan's house. Yeah, he's got some dog toys and things around already. Lovely kitchen, very pretty. Doesn't need any work. Bathroom, again, as expected, doesn't need anything doing. Bright, cheerful and airy as a house. Oh, look, dining room's just got a little table and then lots of open space 
from all the dogs lock so I've got a couple of dog beds loads and loads of toys and um, feeders for the animals right so here's where we're going to be doing a lot of work then that this has got dog beds and things to be put in there's the garage we don't need to do anything in there and that leads us back out onto the porch lovely So this is where we're going to start for the big turnover for the dogs. So we need to get rid of all of the furniture in here. So this was what, the spare bedroom? For when friends and family came. So he's going to turn that into the puppy and puppy and kitten room, did he say, down here? Yeah. And they've still got plenty of space for them to run around outside of this room as well because of the open area. So if he's got any adult dogs, they'll probably be in the like dining room area with him. Right, let's close that, we don't need that. Yeah, we don't want the TV here, it doesn't want us to re... Well, we could have repurposed that into a different room actually, couldn't we? But no. Right, so that's all of that gone. And then... Is that everything? No, there's another picture. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Right. So that's... Which... Uh, where are my instructions? this one so, bathroom, uh, so that door there over there is going to be a bathroom area as well right so we want wooden flooring that can make sense carpets probably wouldn't be a good thing with kittens and puppies that'd have been better with tile than wood to be honest as well but if we protect the wood enough it might be okay um, at least two dog bowls to at least two dog beds and some dog bowls. See, I, I saw that and read them both together. <laughs> Instead of saying dog beds and dog bowls, I said <laughs> to combine the two. Oh dear, bless. Right, so it looks like there's an awful lot of options here. So this Ramal dog bed, it's quite a low bed look. It's basically just a, a holder for a great big cushion. And there's lots of patterns, look. So I'm sure you can get that to match any room that you want. Hmm. Since this room's specifically for the pets, it can be anything you want it to be because they don't have to match anything, they're just there for the comfort of the puppies. Let's go for pink. I like pink. Um, <laughs> this corner seems like a good idea to put a dog bed because it'd be quieter than anywhere else. And then maybe we put the other dog bed at the other end of the room so that the two dogs can ignore each other if they don't get along or if they want some space. So that's the Mornista dog bed. That looks very fancy, doesn't it? And the, oh, can you change the colour of every little individual item? So you can change the outside, the inside, the cushion. So the mattress is pink. Yeah, so we can change every little item by the looks of it individually. Kind of like the darker base. I think maybe a brown. Because we've got this sort of beige -ish wallpaper, so that matches the wood and the uh, on the out the wood on the outside. So if we go for a darker contrasting brown on the uh, inside and then the mattress. Yeah, look the mattress and the pillows are different colours, so we can proper customise that. we make them both pink, pink cushions so that they, they kind of match a little bit. Oh look, you can change the individual pillows and one of them is a little bone look and they can all be a different colour. That is a lot of customisation options, that's really pampering your pooch. So there's a metal plate on the front, I kind of feel like you ought to be able to um, engrave it. But so far, I haven't seen an option for that. Well, the screws even for the plate on the front can be a different colour. Hmm. I could like put it on this wall here, close to the other one, so if the pets are friendly, they can be close together. And if they're not, you can maybe put it further down the room. I'm not sure how many things need to go in this room yet, so. There might be some um, 
reorganisation going on. In fact, we might have to cut the video before we finish this room and then come back to it in the next episode. Because I haven't seen a room for the cats, so are the cats in this room with the dogs or are they in a separate room? So the bone appetite mat for under the um, bowls. I want us to have two of them, so we'll start with the pink one because we've kind of gone for a pink scheme for the dog beds and then we'll make the other one a different colour or a different pattern or something. Now shall we change that? Might keep the pink edge and the pink ball. Um, might do, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's then the sort of beigey colour, which kind of matches the walls and floors a little bit, and the edges of the dog bed where the wood was. And then we want the dog feeders. I'll put down the dog feeders, and then I think we'll probably cut the video there and come back for the next episode to complete this room and continue with Morgan's house for the animal caretaker. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From SoftKitty99, goodbye and happy games!